What a lovely shower. Now, Cock Excelente, our vampire, has a nice, shiny Excelente. Welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Uh, so today, I'm not going to lie to you. I've recorded this episode already. Um, we did the quest. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try and avoid spoilers for those of you who, who maybe don't remember much about the game or are just watching this blind or just watching it because I'm playing it, you poor soul. Uh, so we did the quest for... That involves the astrolite. And of course, the astrolite description says that it's made from over-the-counter chemicals. However, as a result of that, uh, when the explosion actually went off in-game, it crashed the game. Uh, and it only auto-saves in, in new areas. So, of course, that, that whole area was a new area. Basically, what I'm saying is I'm going to be mashing F5 basically throughout the entirety of the rest of the game. So, I apologize if it gets annoying. But this game crashes for seemingly no reason, even with the very fabled and very official unofficial patch 10.7. Um, which apparently has done fucking nothing. Anyway... Uh, another, th so, so, advice from the comment section. Sorry, I've, I've obviously gone over it all once in a video already, so I apologize if I missed anything here. Um, somebody said we've got limited inventory space, so to make sure we store things that we're not using. Um, so specifically some of these old quest items. Um, I, I have looked up some of these, and they have no use. Like, for example, the driving license, the old bail bond. Those are pointless. Um, so we can just stick those in here and forget about them, essentially. Um, the only thing I'm not sure is if weapons take up inventory space, but I very much doubt they do. What are those? Morphine bottle. Oh. Oh, yeah, I remember we were keeping those just in case. Bear in mind, Mercurio had one during the first quest, so I was like, well, oh, hang on to those. Um, the other thing, leveling up. 14 experience points. I basically come through the comments and made an informed decision based on what you guys suggest. Now, one of them is dexterity, because uh, somebody said that dexterity gives a lot of picking and sneaking. And seeing as we haven't gone into computer except for reading the skill books, I feel like that's not terrible. Plus, we put no points in security, and I feel like you probably don't want lot picking and computer. Um, so anytime we get three points in security, I feel like is, is pretty good, and it gives us sneaking. Turns out that alone is super important in this quest, um, and we put it in without... Obviously, the first time I played this, I just kind of picked it and then saw how it did, and during the quest, it was really useful. So we are going to go for that again. We are also going to put another point in celerity, because uh, it seems quite fun being able to run around really fast with a shotgun. Not that we're going to be doing much of that in this quest. <clears throat> anyway, the other thing, somebody said there's something in here that I missed and I spent ages looking for it. Found it under here. It is a book. Um, a Voyeur's Field Guide. Uh, which is a, a sneak book, which we can't read. Um, even without putting the level up in the, in the skill, we couldn't have read it anyway. It, it's for one sneak, and we were, we were already one sneak. Anyway. Um, so, as, so, with regards to kind of this part of the game... There's very few things left for us to do. One of them is the top floor of the pharmacy. There is a prescriptions room that we can pick the medical cabinet on and it has various different pills that we can sell. Um, it's roughly about 100. I, I, saw, I did it before, um, but I lost two humanity because the guard... I, I fed on the guard until he died because somebody left a comment saying that you could do that because it's a combat area. We didn't lose humanity. And guess what? We fucking lost humanity. So I'm not doing it this time because um, we've already lost enough humanity as it is because we've been an awful naughty man. Um, but there is about $115 worth of medicine up there if we want to go and get that at some point. Anyway, we found out that Bertram Tongue lives in an old oil tanker. And here he is. Bertram Tongue. A hideous Nosferatu. Only. Don't bother with the introductions, fledgling. I he sounds a little bit like are. Ghoul Heath Ledger's The Joker. You know? News I didn't say that last time, but it, it was going on in my brain as I was saying I assume something far funnier. Between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a Isn't LaCroix a, a sparkling water in brand in <laughs> North America, perhaps only just Canada? I might be wrong on that. Um, but that's all like that's the only time I've ever heard that used before. That's great. So, you know, I survived oh, You did did you well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? I need to get to the warehouse for Mercurio, you know Mercurio. Hmm? Oh, never mind The warehouse though. I made up. I've been watching the place the Sabat has a bunch I made of a point of how the hell do these guys not breach the masquerade? There. Because I'm There's telling you, staging going on. right fucking now, there is no way in hell the city of Santa Monica would let somebody live in a giant oil tanker who looks like that. Maybe the prince has some sort of sway and they, they turn their back on this guy hanging around. But I doubt that, otherwise you wouldn't need to keep the masquerade going. Anyway, don't know. Um, so if we ask you about the Sabat, he tells us what the Sabat are. We already kind of know, right? Jeez, you are green. It's like this. We're all monsters. Like the Sabbat or evil vampires. I'm not going to say the Sabbat are the evil vampires. Which we already knew. None of us. So I don't know why it's telling us that again. The Sabbat 
They glorify their monstrous nature. They refuse to hide it and go out of their way to show it. The only thing They're he says that is quite important, though. And reckless. They have a life expectancy of a vampire fruit fly. He does say that, like, if we have to kill anybody as a result of that, um, that's what the first option. He'll just basically say, if you have to kill anybody, it's a way of a way of maintaining the masquerade, basically. As far as I can um, tell. The humans, the humans want to join it so they can the potentially way. also become vampires. They know the work of the vampires. Yeah. There you go. This is about like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think, Think of, of it, it as upholding the, the masquerade. Thank you. Can you get me in there without being detected? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready. And We're ready. Leave. Once you're there, Put however, me in. you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. Excellent. I was born ready. Let's go. So the one mistake I made when I did this the first time is there is a small time section. Um, and I hadn't finished exploring. And when you start the time section, you, you can't really go back because it's a time section. Uh, I won't spoil it too much, but you'll see when we go ahead here. So this area is actually, and this is what kind of vindicated putting the point in dexterity. This area is super, super sneak heavy. There's a lot of guards that are kind of like slightly with their back turned. A lot of homeless characters that we can feed on if we need to. Um, but more to the point, it means that we can do stuff like this. And get some neck breaks going. Oh, tasty urinal cake. This place also pisses ammo at you, no pun intended. Like, it's all over the place. So if we ever need to... So, so I was... Originally, when I did this, I was like, we'll save our ammo. You know, we'll, we'll just stick to using the knife as much as possible. Sure, if we gamble, our health will regenerate, but we, we should be fine as long as we're sensible about it. No, this place, like, genuinely, you, there's just ammo everywhere. The ceilings, the floors, there's boxes. There's a cabinet here with absolutely nothing in it. Um, but it's a physics object, I guess. I'm trying to get trying to get on there but it doesn't do anything uh so there's also a lot of different ways you can go it's quite a large area it took me by surprise the first time i did it but we are going to stick to the sneak strap so that my 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 sneaking points that i've spent here weren't uh weren't completely in vain i mean obviously hand to hand combat we'd win it easy um there's something quite satisfying about the neck breaking in this it's not over the top film neck breaking it's like you know it's like a subtle vertebrae pop it's quite nice your boy, Cock Excelente, capable of silent neck breaks. And here we are, that's what I'm talking about, like, just 12 gauge shotgun ammo lying around. Right, okay, speed limit 10. Well, that's good, I won't use celerity then. Speed limit 10. What about the trains? Hello, crab nipples. Is he gonna is he say the line? Do the roar. He's not gonna say it. Well, I'm gonna do the roar then, my friend. <laughs> For no reason other than we're missing two points of blood, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna drink this man. I'm gonna I'm gonna drink this drunkard, <laughs> and suddenly for the rest of the miss mission we're completely pissed. Who'd have thought? Right, that's all this thing does. Oh, we're, out. we're actually completely trapped now. Thank you. Oh fucking! Hey, that. Let me through. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, could you imagine if you move it and then now you actually can't fit through? You're slightly too small. Yo. Going on here tonight. Right. There's shit. a couple of guys over there. A new shipment came in. Some pretty serious I don't think we can actually stealth yeah, attack those guys because they're both kind of facing our direction. We'll be able to chuck someone over there. Hello. Distract them. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Obviously, in the Maybe tutorial, you do a kind of chuck like distraction, but like, I've never really eyes open. never been Someone's able to do it since. Those clowns in the freight house to quit playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts peeling so they are immediately going to see us here, aren't they? Let's be honest. Let's go to a third person. Yeah, there's no way in hell we're gonna we're gonna get in there. Right. Here we go. Cock excelente. Fuck him up. What a guy. That was incredible. Matrix mode. Also when they die they scream like Stewie Griffin. Uh So that's quite that's quite funny. Uh, I don't know who the hell paid that guy as a voice actor, but they should probably get a refund. Like, even now. 17 years later, genuinely track that man down and get get a refund. Right, okay. Uh, we've got a lantern. And there's a lock there, which I assume we can pick, but we won't worry about it for the time being. So uh, head through here. Hello? Oh. There he is. Okay. Here we go. You know the score. You know what we gotta do. 
46, 45, 44. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, quiet, quiet. I imagine he's going to turn around and see us straight away, isn't he? Can't catch up with him. He's too bloody fast. He's too fast. Come on, come on, come on. We're almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Before he turns around. Snap some next. You son of a bitch. You see it popped up there for a second. Wow. That was like three hits. So this here, I saw this on the floor last time. I think it's just a lockpick. But I don't know why that would be there. Because you're telling me there's characters that start without lockpicks. That'd, that'd be mad. All right. Got big old big old train. Big old low poly, low texture train. Confederate Atlantic. Probably pay for a paint job on that one, fella. Something with more than two pixels. Do you think we can, you think we can get this guy? Okay. I didn't actually get him last time. Hey, oh, fuck off. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> it's not really sneaking if you jump, you know, six foot from the top of a fucking train, is it? No, I didn't go up here last time. Um, I went a completely different way, so I want to see what's actually up here. Uh, a glitchy ladder. My favorite. Oh, spooky, huh? What have we got there? Silver ring. Oh, it's just money. I'm glad we came back. And we've got a great we can open to get into the warehouse. Oh, man. That takes us straight in here. Oh, there's a lot to see outside. So I'd rather not come into the warehouse this early on, to be honest. There's a load to see. But going into the warehouse through that way will probably be the best way to do it, to be honest with you. Because um, obviously a lot of guys guarding the, guarding the front door. You're a vampire. Just turn into the bat and fly down, you weird man. Are there are vampires that can do that in this world. It's got to be right. Because I'm pretty sure that the, this is this is my extent of exposure to the uh, the world of darkness world besides CK2. There was a Rimworld mod we played, and I believe the vampires in that the, from the vampires Rimworld mod are based on the vampire clans from this right. And one of them has the ability to like turn into mist or become bats and shit. So maybe there are some that can turn into bats. There we go. Right. Most, of, uh, I'll be honest, we could easily fight all of these guys in, in you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat and fist fights. The reason I'm picking a lot of this stuff and going the weird route is because there's just ammo fucking everywhere. And I want as much as we can get. We can sneak past them. Or we could fight them. Let's just go around. We'll come back for you guys in a minute, I think. The more 10 cent cigar. Tastes like tar. Made with 100% tar. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Heads down. What's he doing? He's cowering. We've scared him. <laughs> no man can open a train car door. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Barrel of rebar. That's nice. Oh, I didn't go in here. What's in here? Hello? Who's there? No one. No one's there. No one's there. No one's there. Oh no. Hey, Hello. Stop. Okay, careful. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Okay, okay, okay. Um, probe gauge, tube feed. Very nice. Okay. Um, I assume we can club on the top here, right? Oh my god. Oh, I thought we could. Damn it. Oh, there's loads of boys down there now. Okay, okay, okay. Can we can we hide? Wait for them to fuck off, and then maybe stealth attack. I don't think they're leaving. Okay. Oh, come on. Vampire the Masquerade's bloodlines too. When you're coming out, you need to you need to let me do some some Assassin's Creed shit. Where'd the other one go? Oh my god, share his head hit that post. Jesus. I felt that. Okay. Oh, Cock Excellente knows how to handle a weapon. There's a guy over there with an itchy trigger finger. Let's be careful of him. Is there any ammo in here for us? Uh, it's just a big, big old train filled with absolutely fuck all. Right, good. Uh. Where do they get all these trains? Are you just genuinely abandoned trains? Do you have those? Just kind of lying around in a train yard? Surely these things cost money. Okay, careful, careful. Yep. Damn. I can't believe it. You guys read this? <laughs> yeah, me neither. Hey, you see something no, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. Ah, my fucking ears. 
Oh god, they're actually leaving the leaving the room. Uh How should we how should we deal with this? I think I have an idea. That'll do it. I don't want to waste too much shotgun ammo though. Let's not waste the shotgun ammo. You never know, we might have to fight some big scary vampire at some point and a shotgun might be hypothetically useful in that situation. The headshots do more damage. Can someone confirm that? Because I intentionally aim for the head, but the crossbows in this game are so wank. No, evidently not. Um, I think it's just any, anywhere, right? Is Just a confirmed hit is all you need. You are looking the wrong way. What are they doing? <laughs> uh, I almost feel bad for that guy. I feel like he kind of given up a little bit, you know? I will admit... The gunplay does leave a little something to be desired. Last time I did this section, uh, I genuinely just sat here and time, kind of time crisis it and just kept popping up. And they weren't able to hit me at all doing that. Because we can obviously pop up and shoot and they just do not have the reaction time. Hello. Unfortunately, we also don't really have the bloody accuracy. Oh, where is he? Hello. Oh, there he is. That's great cover. Never see you there. <laughs> Maybe they think if we can't see, if they can't see us, we can't see them. Just hides perfectly like this. No idea where they are. <laughs> right. Shotgun shells, you say? Hope those don't come in handy at all. Right, what have we got in here? Shitloads of 38 ammo. Nice. And then we have shitloads more 38 ammo. Make sure we're, we can push this one. What would we push it? What would that let us do? I don't know. Climb up somewhere, perhaps? God knows. Um, right, so this bit. Genuinely attempts to go around the other way. Because there's like six dudes on the other side of that door. Again, not uh, pretend I've never done this before. Um, last time I just kind of brute forced it. But there are... I mean, it's not difficult, evidently. But um, there are six dudes on that side uh, on, on that side of the door. And to be honest, this way just seems a lot more fun. Picking him up from the rafters. The, the, the mighty sleight of hand sniper that is... I was going to call him Cock Bruntley then. Um, that was cursed. Uh, which is almost true. Right, let's drop down this way then and go and explore. Right, okay, here we are. Ooh. Right, hello. So one of these rooms... Bertram Tongue said one of these rooms is where we place the astrolite in the central office. Once again, sneaking, coming in clutch. Oh my god, we have the ability to go invisible. Maybe we... You know, we looked in that mirror. And I said, oh, haha, it's good because we're a vampire. Maybe we are just actually invisible. If you think about that. How do you know if you're invisible or just have no reflection? If you look in a mirror and there's no one there. Mind-blowing. <laughs> oh, is this the... Uh, so some of these guys, when I first did it, just basically limped towards me. I don't know exactly what I did to bug it out, but it wasn't... I think the combat was a lot... Oh, Christ. The combat was a lot easier. Because all the guys in melee would quite literally just, like, creep. They would just kind of creep over as slow as possible. I think the game was a little bit buggy, so at least this time we get a bit more of a combat challenge, I guess. Right, so this is where we put the astrolite. So if we want to do any more exploring, we've got to do that first. Right, in we go. So this is a bird's eye view, I think, of the other... Right, okay, so this is the warehouse we cleared out. Down there. I see over there is the guys. So if we go through that little door, we've got to, like, fight, fight five of them from a tiny little... Ah, yes, yeah, Piece of shit. From a tiny little area, which I probably wouldn't recommend. I assume if we, um... I never actually considered this. I assume if we fight them in ranged and kill them in ranged, they'll drop ammo. But if we, if we force them to put their gun away, they don't drop anything. I mean, obviously, they drop the melee weapons, but we can't do anything with that. Right, okay. Yeah, fucking chair. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll repent. Honestly, I'll get, I'll get a job, please. I need this chair to pay for my son's education. Oh, you son of a bitch. Hold on. Brilliant. <laughs> ah! Thought it might be a distraction if we chuck a chair at them. Um, oh, there's a button. Oh, I didn't see that button before. What's button do? Beep. What does that do for us? 
I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure it does anything. Oh, we can sneak and press it and crush a man. Oh, I wish I'd have done that now. Damn it. Cock excellente. Loves crushing men. Ow, they're bullets. Bullets really hurt. A vampire has only one specific weakness. A life-threatening injury. Jesus, wow, we're getting absolutely toasted here. Right, okay, let's hold back a second. Do you think we can shoot through the grate? I doubt it. Fuck off. Oh, we can't even shoot through this, apparently. Fuck sake. Oh, but they can shoot through it. What are you talking about? Ref, I would like a refund. Oh. Good hit, good hit, good hit, good hit. Right. Let's go over there. Who I believe can't see us, but we can see him. So I think we'll try and take him out from a distance while our health regens. Oh, come on. Come on, please. Good hit. Alright. A few more shots. Brilliant. What a place to reload. Better get, better get out of cover to reload, huh? Don't want to be impolite. You stand absolutely no chance. Okay, now you do. Careful, careful. No, no, no. No further back. No further back. No further back. We're friends. We're friends. We're friends. I feel like I might have to have a bit of a blood bag in a second. Because holy shit, we have been peppered here. Oh, there's a ladder there. Oh. Maybe if I didn't rush through things, paid more attention, I noticed these things. Right. Oh, it's not a ladder up. It's a ladder down. How's that any use? Brilliant. Okay. So we pressed the button. I made a mess. Is that everybody dead? I think we're genuinely... I think we're genuinely clear here. All right. Well, let's try and get ourselves some... Oh my god, he can push that. Uh, there's some ammo boxes lying around. Just in case you remember where they all are. Uh, where else are they? Oh, I know where there's a few. Hang on. There's, a, there's obviously a big area that we've missed. We've got two doors there. Um, now, this is this is a mistake I made last time. When you set the explosive, funnily enough, there's a time limit. I haven't done any of this stuff. Um, there's a man out there fighting the door. Um, so I kind of backtracked and then got dangerously close to running out of time. I'm going to save, speaking of which. Shh. Nobody say anything. You know I said we needed a blood bag. I think I found it. <laughs> chompy, chompy. What is with that sound effect as well? <laughs> like the comedy TV children show large bite sound effect. <laughs> really stealthy there, Cock Excellente. Alright, so much ammo. My god. Is that other guy alive? Did we did we crush him? Oh, he's actually still alive. Uh, maybe I'll just get him with melee with that guy, because I feel like we're just going to waste a lot of shots trying to hit him through um, a very thin gap. Uh, oh no, he's given up? Well, good news for me. We've had one breakfast, yes, but how about a second breakfast? Done. <laughs> then we slammed his head into that for absolutely no reason other than cruelty. Um, what does this thing do? You're telling me they put all this effort into animating that and it's just there for set dressing? Wow. Okay. There we go. So I believe that's the entire warehouse cleared out now. Um, all we got to do is place the bomb and be on our merry way. And go home. I think we've been through all of these, haven't we? Little generator there. Let's go ahead and, and open this door. To see what's behind it. You never know. Didn't mean to do that, to be honest. Freeze. Oh! He's taking cover behind these bins. <laughs> oh! Brian. Right, what's through here? Let me just go and have a look around. I believe this connects up to the area we saw earlier. Oh, it does, but there's a load of guys through there. Also aiming guns the wrong way, so I think... We might be able to do some necky snappy without them noticing. Sneaky, careful, and quiet, and concise. Snappy. Wow, that other guy's fucking. Oh. Slight problem. We seem to have sunk into the floor. Uh, we seem to have sunk. Hang on, I got an idea. <laughs> um, I hope we're not stuck in the floor. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Funny, I got the unofficial patch. We wouldn't have these problems. 
And be gone. Wow. Cock Excellente, you brutal murderer. Oh, I bet that knocks that over, doesn't it, if it blows up. Excellent. Okay. Uh, got any shit in here worth me looking at? Or... Oh, it's everything. Well, let's go back and place the Astrolite. Oh, my friends, that is a quest. Success. Big success. Great success, even. Cock Excellente, the Sneak Lord. I feel like those points in Sneak were well justified. Excuse me, I have a business meeting to attend. I have a particularly explosive sales pitch. <laughs> Ooh, it's for home insurance because I'm about to bomb your office. Let's leave. Goodbye. I suppose you need business insurance for that, wouldn't you? Um, oh, that door's, that door's shut. Oh, and they threw a corpse through it. You rude man. Right, here's the plan. We're gonna, we're gonna shotgun out. And we are gonna celerity. There he is. Boom. Boom. Get roasted. Ah, oh, he's got giant claws. He's like a snake. No, that's, they don't have claws. He does the yellow damage. What do I don't want the yellow damage? Ah, oh, God, he hurts. Is he dead? Has he suffered final death? I think he's just suffered final humiliation. Ooh. Ah, speaking of humiliation. There we go. Now he's suffered final death, you big bitch. Right, um, we've got two minutes. Two minutes, 17, to uh, get the hell out of here. Where did he find that corpse? Did he bring it with him? What kind of psychopath carries a corpse for the purposes of intimidation? We literally went through there and there was no corpse. I feel like we should probably, probably move a little faster here, huh? Does it actually make time run slower? I don't think it does. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. No, it's definitely not. What well, makes the bloody doors open slower, though? That seems reasonable. Go! And here we are, back to where we back to where we were a long time ago. Um, oh, there's another one. Fuck! Ah! I didn't realise there would be another one. Okay, okay. See, it blew up last time without me. Oh, I didn't. Well, I wanted to fight, but that's okay. Um, last time I just did that and ran straight through. Um, I didn't realise another one would spawn in though. Blew up without me fighting another dude. Ooh. I know there's a bomb out of golf, but give me a give me a breaker. So we we just go back to the start now. I think that's basically everything. I don't need to do anything else. Right. Well done, everyone. There we are. So this is when it crashed. Oh. Okay, I did that last time too. I made a very hilarious comment about that furry almost got stuck on the train. Your handiwork, I presume. But it seems like we're fine. There we are. The whales, your handiwork, I presume. Uh, yeah, that was me. Hopefully, no sabot saw you escape. Oh, they can about be that. somewhat antagonistic. Yeah, I maybe made a mistake. Um, who are you, and why have you been following me? We've seen this guy before up at the pier. Is he the man that's pulling the pulling the people apart? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. Mr. I haven't been Anderson. following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time. Oh. For different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. So is he a, is he a vampire that can Tell turn me, into a wolf? Have you or is he actually a werewolf? Seen or felt anything strange since your Because, advice? I mean, he's got big old fangs. And I don't know that werewolves particularly have are known for their big old pointy fangs. Um, well, seen anything? Oh, God, okay. Uh, met some kindred on the beach that didn't seem like kindred. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred. Oh. Hence the name. I'd have never have guessed. Thin blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. Oh. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. Wow. I saw a ghost at a local hotel. A ghost? Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. Great. Uh, did you know that the Santa Monica Baronet... Why are we just telling this man everything? Did you know that she has a split personality? She's undoubtedly Malkavian. Or should I say, 
They are undoubtedly Malkavian. Other than that, I haven't seen anything extraordinary. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. Oh. But I'm not a native to these parts. I'm not a so native I to these parts. Tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. This guy... Pleasure meeting your repentance. Weird. But there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain... Meet again. Ah. Oh. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabah. You don't say. There was a big one chasing me down, but I gave him a slip. You're a strange fella. Why am I so small? Oh. I think he made us kneel down. Oh, I'm not liking where this is going, Sabat. What's his name? Be sorry, Beckett. Oh. Ugh. Woke up here. What a night! How much did we drink? Good God. Hello. Nice work, fledgling. I felt that explosion a mile no, you didn't. away. It's all over the news. You didn't. Too. We were we were about Man, fifty meters away. We didn't feel a be fucking some thing. There's gonna be pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but his face was perfectly still, and that. That's just, that. This is why you live in in this place, my friend. It's not because of his face at all. It's not because of his, you know, fairly fairly unattractive personality features or uh, apparently second twin growing out of his forehead. It's because he laughs like a fucking weirdo. Beckett, well, I know of him. Why? I spoke with him. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. Oh. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind so our he was a, condition. He was a vampire then, right? Um, Bertram, I have some questions for you. What do you need? Uh, what do you need, smooth skin? Speaking of that, I've met your ghoul, Knox. I know you did. Sharp kid. Contract like a bloodhound. I watched him work for a while before I approached him. I had no idea how eager he would be Ooh. to help. Uh, you knew I did? I knew you would. I had him watching you know who for me. It was inevitable you'd pass through her joint. I told him to keep an eye out for you, gave him lines to feed you, the whole bit. Oh, very clever. Um, he needed my help. I killed an Asian vampire who was stalking no, him. No, you helped me remove a spy without revealing myself or getting my hands dirty. Wow, actor played me for a fool. Uh, uh, well played, Bertram. Well played. Don't take it hard, fledgling. I won't be the last elder to milk you for a favor. Uh, oh. Oh. It's just like we did to, uh, just like we did to Bertram right there. Uh, I wanted to ask you a few, sure. few, few questions. Uh, what do you think of Prince LaCroix? What am I gonna say? He's the boss now. Uh, what about that guy who decapitated my sire? He's LaCroix's iron fist. No one knows the sheriff, really. This is the big man, Except right? LaCroix. No one even knows the guy's name. There's lots of rumors about him, though. I heard LaCroix picked him up in What's Africa. What's the bet? He's like the final boss of the game. Ago. I'd be willing to put money Obviously, on that. Obviously, they work well together. Uh, I want to ask a question about someone else. Sure. Uh, what about Nines Rodriguez? From what I hear, he's a likable sort, and that's a problem. Nines Rodriguez is the kind of guy you want on your side, and more kindred go anarch every day because of him. Oh, okay. Um, I see what you're saying. I wanted to ask you about the clans. Sure. Tell me about the the Bru Bruja? Bruja? They're a bunch of malcontents. They get pumped up by rousing the rabble they keep around them. <laughs> like, that's hard. Nothing breeds faster than contempt. And that's what the Bruja are all Bruja. about. Bruja. Oh, what's that? Jealousy Thank God for that. and contempt. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask you about all these clans. Because sure. it'd be interesting to find out what how, how they're pronounced for the most part. Tell me about the Gangrel. Well, they fancy themselves loners and drifters running around the countryside and barking at the moon. It's all just an act. A gangrel, gangrel werewolves? Walk up right. They just choose not to. Gangrel aren't werewolves. Werewolves are werewolves, right? And then gangrel are just, like, vampires that kind of werewolves, I would assume. Uh, I want to ask you about another clan. Sure. Uh, tell me about the Malkavians. To be honest, the rest Malkavians of this video is probably just going to be me speaking uh, to him now. Uh, so if you already know all this stuff, might be a There's bit, might be a bit boring. Them. Learning to sort the wisdom from the bullshit can be some work, and uh, not all of them are worth listening to, but... Uh, they're all good fun, if you ask me. Oh, like Therese Bowman, is she good fun? 
That was just silly vampire politicking, fledgling. No more. You're Get a liar. To that kind you of are thing. a liar. Uh... Is rather the same person? Uh, uh, I had my suspicions. What an interesting specimen. But a pain in my dead ass for sure. Oh. A lot more vicious than a pain in your ass. <laughs> of course it did. As if vampires and women both weren't insecure oh, enough. Wow. Get them together in one Malkavian body. And look what happens. Talk about drama, queens. Yeah, no kidding. Ha <laughs> ha, women, am I right? With their thoughts and emotions. Wants the title of Prince of Santa Monica. I guess she saw me as a threat. Funny thing is, I could care less. So I couldn't care less. If you could care less, then that means you already care. If you say I couldn't care less, you're at minimum, you're at minimum caring. Sorry, just just got to point that out. Uh, fame and power did not did not intrigue you. I wouldn't want to be the prince of Terra Haute. I leave that headache to the Ventru. Besides, there's only like four vampires in all of Santa Monica. <laughs> Some kingdom. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> He's good. Like what? Good one. Um, about the clans. Hmm. Clans are just bloodlines, you know. Um, so we know about Malkavians, Baruch mm. Gangro. Uh, Nosferatu. The Nosferatu are damn good at what we do. No one even argues that. If you need to know, if you want it found, you come to us. We're indispensable. Wow. Not a bad place to be in the afterlife. It's a shame you're fucking hideous. The Nosferatu stick together. Pool resources. We have more going on than anyone could guess at. Our web blankets. I'm sure tonight. they all say that. Well, that's right. We part of the Camarilla. I'm loyal to the clan, loyal to my primogen, and therefore loyal to the Camarilla. I think he's a liar. Do you like them? The Nosferatu are the eyes and ears of the Camarilla, so they take care of us. They value our services, or uh, don't want to be on our bad side. Either way, no one bothers us. You live in an oil tanker. You're a liar. Um, we've already asked what he thinks Prince LaCroix. I want to ask about another clan. Sure. Uh, tell me about... Mm. Uh, me. Tell me about the Toreador. <laughs> I don't rub elbows with the pretty bloodsuckers much. Excuse me. But I've seen them work people like puppeteers. And that's admirable. I'm... Now, if only they'd get off their slimy uh, asses and put their talent brother, to some use. I'm right here. feeding their egos. Uh, so observation made from the safety of a rabbit hole. Save it, Don Juan. Your silver tongue Don might Juan. get tarnished looking this hide. Oh, disgusting worm. Moving on. Like what? Uh, it's a question about the clans. Sure. Tell me about. Who else we got left? Uh, the Tremory. Mages. I don't have any reason to trust them. They're creepy, and I think they like it that way. But to be honest, I don't hear much about the Tremere. Tremere. There's a few in L.A., but all in all, Tremere. there's not that many of them. Okay. Uh, what was about another clan? Sure. Uh, mm. let's go for the Ventru. Well, they get a bad rap, if you ask me. Everyone likes to take shots at the man in charge. But when it comes to getting the job done, the Ventru know how to step up. They can take the heat. So the only one I, I know of that I don't think they've mentioned that I... I can't name any others anyway. Is the um the the Tim Timacy or the Zimacy or however you say it? I guess they're not in this game then, huh? Um and the sects I assume yeah. they're talking about the Anarchs camera. I don't know much about the Anarchs, but obviously we know the they're Anarchs. Ones. Yeah, I respect what they do, strenuous liberty and all that jazz, but they're kidding themselves. Wherever there's an ounce of power to be had, there'll be people dicking each other over. So these I are vampires the that want to kind of exist. That. But without the Camarilla ruling over them, right. So I guess they don't break the masquerade like this about, but they're just kind of the middle ground. Live, living without rules, fine. Uh, what do you know about Nines Rodriguez? From what I hear, he's a likable sort. We've already asked him about that. All right, thank you. That was a bit of an information dump, but I know so much about everything now. Wow, so we still can't go in here. I, I thought that's where this was going to take place. God knows what this one's about then. Crab nipples to you two. Uh, we're going to go to, very quickly, we'll run back up to... Actually, no, because I've told people, you know, if they weren't, didn't want to know shit to not bother watching. Hello? You're going to take us elsewhere, I would assume. Uh, so what we'll do... Go back to the, go back to the room. Uh, if we've got any experience, we'll spend some experience. Uh, and then we'll speak to Mercurio at the start of tomorrow, just because he might have something to say now that we've obviously done his quest at long last. He might have stopped bleeding everywhere now. Um... What's going on with that? Is that saying that we can go somewhere else? Oh, that's weird. 
Don't like that. <laughs> I don't like the like ghost town over there. I assume they'd uh, they'd open that up kind of like symbolically. Look, some of the people have moved as well. Is it like a new? See that that guy was there that, that has moved. Weird. So the town's like a little bit different now, perhaps. I wonder if there's anything that we can go to now that we couldn't before, like the megahertz computer store or something. All right. Um. Nothing in our mailbox. Uh, for our final trip, we'll go back to our room. Just check our email. You know, make sure that's all together. Um, oh, no, you know what? I will, again, I'll check the email tomorrow because obviously I've already told people to sod off if they want interested in the law. So let's take a quick look here. Five experience. So I'll leave it up to you guys again to to take a vote, give me some feedback on, on uh, is what we've got currently. Um, high skills, appearance, uh, obviously it's Victoriador. Firearms, stealth. Probably would have taken some points out of melee in hindsight, knowing that firearms are, uh, ammo is so, I mean, abundant at this point. Um, so in hindsight, I definitely would have tapped into that. Um, three celerity, two all specs, two presence. Presence, I don't think we've touched once. Two decks. Potentially still some lot picking and sneaking to get out of that. But overall, I'll leave it up with you guys. So we could go for quite a lot of skills here. We can we can sink a point into um, obviously any of the one or zero cost skills that we haven't got into yet. So that's up to you. Uh, but my man, Croc Excelente, needs some alone time with his, with his pillow and his filth mattress. Mmm, lacuna coil. <laughs>